Hi everybody, I'm Leonard Carpenter from Northern Alberta, Canada. I didn't think about that. I'm going to show you uh, about something that I made called the Tide Maker for my pond. <clears throat> I said I would make a video about it. So it actually all started with uh, my skimmer, that's that tube in the middle. I have underground plumbing to this pond. It goes down to a big filter system that I made. And, <clears throat> and I made this skimmer to keep the surface clean. And I've got two drains in here, one's underneath the the potted lily pads at the far end there and this one the skimmer so I had trouble keeping the water level exactly the right level in order for the skimmer to work properly and right now it's kind of a little bit low for it but it's still working so I, I tried to come up with a way of, of two things keeping leaves and things from getting caught in there and and also I wanted to be able to uh, feed the plants some water once in a while like some of these plants don't like being in the water so so if you can if you can feed them water a little bit, just dip their feet, they'll do they'll do great. Some like you know the ones that don't actually like being in the water. I mean. So there it is. That's where the that's where the the, the tide maker comes from, right in the middle of the screen there, and uh, it's beside my waterfall. And I'll show you how that works. So like I said, I have underground plumbing. It goes down here and goes to these barrels. And this is where I control the water level of the pond. If the water level goes down, this float will kick in. Add some water if it needs to, evaporation or whatever the case may be. If it rains too much, it overflows out this thing. But anyway, that's a whole other story. My pump is located in here. It goes across from the water control level over to the pump. It comes out, gets pumped out to the filter system, which is uh, huge. Filter system is a whole other video. And here's the tide maker. Some of this water that comes out of the filter system doesn't go towards the waterfall. A lot of it does, there it is right there for the waterfall. But some of it gets directed into here. And this is what I call a tide maker. As the water level in this tide maker goes up, it, it uh, is blocked. It can't come out of here because there's an air plug stopping the water from going. So this water level will raise, and I'll pause this video and, and, and fast forward a bit here, because uh, every it takes about 45 minutes for this to be completed. Right now it's probably been Oh, look, by the look at this water level, probably about a half hour since last, uh, last time I went. And it went. And as it does come out of this thing, it goes down through that, creates a siphon and dumps the entire contents of this, of this thing, well, other than enough to keep the fish in here alive. Look at that cute little bugger sleeping or hiding. You see as we stand here. <clears throat> and and, uh, and drains all this water, raising the pond level just a little bit under an inch which allows me to dip the roots and push any debris that's caught in my skimmer into the skimmer. The tide now is just about completely out, which means that uh, that container in the back is almost full. And as you can see, I have things not really working at all anymore over here. And there's leaves that had happened to get caught are caught. And I'll show you what happens after this tide. Okay, here we are in. with the tide has completely gone out. The, t the, the skimmer is pretty much not working at all anymore because of the tide being out. Uh, this is going to last about five minutes or so out of the 45 minutes that the tide maker works. So anything that gets caught in there, which is it's still actually working a little bit, but it's uh, <clears throat> anything big like leaf that you can see on there is going to get caught. And this tide maker will clear that right up. For you. And about another five minutes has gone by since we looked at this last. And as you can see, it is totally submerged now. But no water is flowing because there's an air plug in here stopping the water from going. It's got it needs to, the water level needs to rise high enough to push that through in order to, to make this all dump, which will be in about another two minutes. As you can see, this tide maker is just starting to drip, so it's just ready to kick on. Let's go over here and have a look at this water level. Hi guys. My plants that don't really like being in the water. Have a look at it here. Oh, I don't know if you can see in there, but the bottom of the pot is just out of the water. If you can plant them like that, you can just little grow anything. Yeah, the highest level it can get. And it should be just starting any second now. Let's go have a look. It's sputtering and spitting and it's almost coming into the pond as fast as it's going into that container back there now. Uh, it's just trying to push that air plug through that top of that uh, PVC pipe that you saw in that container. 
And once that gets pushed through, this will come gushing out and raise the water level. Here we are. Tide maker is almost kicked in. Give it a minute or two here and it'll be full board. Call it like a fire hose just about. <laughs> See if you can see from here the leaves are still plugged up in there. And that's getting more and more vigorous. Soon it'll be full. There we go. It's pretty much full now. So that back tank now is the uh, bin is draining into here very quickly. Let's go have a look and see what happens with these leaves. Whatever else happened to get caught in my top skimmer. And this thing works unbelievably. I love this thing. Things are starting to break tree. You see that thing from here still pouring in. Now these leaves will get sucked right in and on the other end I have something called an airlift so even though they want to float they won't be able to because it'll, it actually pulls the water through this thing. Uh, an airlift is, uh, uses air pumped into the other side to help pull the water through. So it actually even though there's two drains one underneath that, that lily pad over there and one here it prefers taking water from here even though there's less water going in because this, this one has the airlift on the other end. And we're still pouring through and as you can see this time this uh, skimmer is working better and better as the seconds go by here pretty soon these leaves won't be able to hang on anymore and it'll clear them up I got a lot of algae in my pond right now which I don't mind because it's really good for the water I don't like the green water algae which is, gets killed by my uh, my UV light it takes care of that so that's why my water is so crystal clear but I have algae too. Algae is really good for the water actually it's just not nice to look through so if you can get rid of the green water you're good. This thing should be yeah it's starting to feel pretty good here that one leaf is really hanging on for dear life. <laughs> you gonna call me a liar leaf? All I need now is a big fish to swim by and it'll push around. There it goes. It's gone. As you can see. And this thing is going to work really well for about 40 minutes or so until the next cycle. And it'll quit working for about 5 minutes or so like it just did. So it runs 35 minutes out of 40 or so or 40 out of 45, something like that. You can see all the algae getting sucked in. Here we are back at the, the, the reservoir. And as you can see, the water level has to go into the pond about another 2 or 3 inches and then it'll be down to that yellow. On a filter screen, I guess I would call it. No filter. Watch what happens when it gets down to there. It's all siphoning out right now, coming out this tube. So there's no more air in here anymore. It's, it's right full of water. We created a vacuum and we have a siphon going. That's why the water's flowing so fast out there. And you can see those little air lines. I got them folded up so they. When, when the water level hits that, it'll fill up the tube back up with air again and get ready for the next cycle. You hear it filling. I have both three or four tubes on there just to make sure it works properly. I've got a little bit of algae in here too, which is really good for the water and uh, they can clog up these things. So you make a few of them. Every once in a while I gotta clean up. Every few days I gotta clean up those tubes. It's not a big deal. So now the water level is up a little bit. I'm not sure if you can see, but the bottom of the pot is just barely in the water. I guess you can't really see very well, but you can trust me, it is. Callie, the <clears throat> same idea. Bottom of the pot is just in the water. Tide is in. There you have it. Skimmer is going to work efficiently now for about 35 minutes until the next tide. Uh, tide is completed. Plants are submerged. They'll be slowly withdrawing water away from their pots and and uh, the skimmer will slowly get less efficient until the next tide. If there's any suggestions on how to make this better or any comments at all, I'm just I'm wide open for listening. Thanks.
I think I'll do another video on the filter.